So December is right around the corner, and with new consoles and new games and everything that's going on right now, I want to take a quick look at the top five best games coming out in December. What's going on? It's me, Jacob, and that's right. I want to take a quick look at the top five best games coming out in December. Now, some of these games may already be on your radar, one especially, but some of these games maybe you haven't heard of or maybe you forgot about them. Well, that's what I'm here for. I want to talk about the top five best games in December. But before I begin, I would definitely appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, leave a like, a comment. Let me know down below what games you're most interested in playing. I'd love to hear back from you guys. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate all the support. Now let's get on with it. At number five, I have Temtem. Basically, this is the world's answer to Pokemon without actually having to play Pokemon. It's going to be on PS5 on December 8th. Now don't get me wrong. I do enjoy playing Pokemon, I like playing Pocket Monsters, it's a lot of fun, I really enjoy the whole concept of it all. Now I can't wait to play it without actually having to dig out my Nintendo Switch, I can just put it on my PS5, go online, join the community. I can't wait to see what you guys do out there, I can't wait to see what these battles bring to the table, how, how much skill and how much talent you know everyone has. I play a lot of Pokemon games, I see all the battles, I see everything that you can do in the game. Now this is going to be a, kind of a clone of Pokemon, maybe be unique, maybe be its own thing. Not quite sure yet. I'll definitely see when it comes out in December. I can't wait to play it. That's Temtem, out on December 8th. At number 4, I have Kronos Before the Ashes. This is a unique looking RPG. Kind of looks like Zelda, kind of looks like Fable, but with a twist. Every time you die, your character ages one year. And that's going to affect the gameplay, how fast you move, jump, dodge, things like that. But also with age, does come wisdom. And that's going to increase your magical abilities. And the game does keep somewhat balanced that way. So you can run through the whole game, probably never dying. And He-Man your way through it, being a gladiator, always using physical skills and your attributes that way. But maybe you die, you come back, you learn something new in the fights, you keep progressing that way. And by the time you get to the end of the game, you look like Gandalf. You've died a whole bunch of times. You know a lot of different skills, a lot of different magic. It can be something you know totally insane like that. It's going to be... It's going to be really interesting to see how people progress through the game and what the end game looks like. Are you going to be He-Man? Are you going to be Gandalf? This game is going to come out on Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, Windows, everywhere, December 1st. At number 3, I have Worms Rumble. Now, Worms Rumble is exactly how it sounds. It's a Worms game, and it's a Battle Royale. It's a Rumble. It's a little different from the rest of the games, because this is going to be more of a Battle Royale style. But the same crazy weapons, same crazy tactics, all the cool stuff in the game. But you know how things are nowadays. Everyone has a multiplayer online battle royale. You've seen it with Call of Duty, you know, obviously with Fortnite, things like that. Now, Worms has one. I can't wait to play it. It's going to look really interesting. This will be on the PS4, PS5, Microsoft Windows. It's going to be everywhere to play on December 1st. At number two, I have Immortals Frenzy Rising. Now, it was once known as Gods and Monsters. Not that Gods and Monsters from DC. That's a great movie, but this game here is something I've clearly been waiting to play. It's been inspired by Zelda, Breath of the Wild. That's an amazing game. It has the elements of Assassin's Creed, an open world RPG. It looks beautiful, it looks amazing, it has you know use of elements of Greek mythology. Your main character is accompanied by a bird. Very clever nod to Assassin's Creed. Wink wink. And I think that's just gonna be awesome. This is coming out for win on Windows, PS4, PS5, Stadia, Xbox, Amazon. Everyone's going to get to play this game. It's going to be out on December 3rd. At number one, what we've all been waiting for, Cyberpunk 2077. Now, this would have made my top 10 for November. You know, well, it would have made my top 10 for a few months. This has been the fourth time it's been pushed back, but we're finally going to get it on December 10th. This is the game all of us have been wanting to play. Now, if it's anything like The Witcher 3, then we're all in for a treat. This is going to be amazing. Not only is this going to be the best game on the list, it's probably going to be the best game of the year. I'm so glad it did come out in 2020. We didn't get it pushed back into 2021. So this will clearly be the best game of the year. Now, I really hope it doesn't kill, kill the game with a short campaign or anything you know, stupid like that. It looks like it's going to be a, a pretty decent campaign, probably 40 the 80 hours, depending on how you play through it, and then obviously it's going to be replayable. You know, you get to start off as different, you know, different choices in the beginning. Do you want to be a street kid? Do you want to be a corporate? Do you want to be a nomad? Now, let us all know down below. How are you going to start off the game? 
obviously you're going to play it. We're all going to play this game. How are you going to start it off? I'm kind of leaning towards Nomad. Kind of seems cool, but I, I don't know. We'll see. I definitely can't wait to play through it, do my Let's Plays on this game. And one more awesome thing about the game, just, just going to throw it out there, freaking Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves being a part of this is amazing. It's just something, you know, really cool an actor like him can do. You know, just great movies. We got Neo, John Wick, all these great things he does. And now he's going to, you know, put his face and his name in this game. And there we go. We got Johnny Silverhands right here, Keanu Reeves. That's just a really cool thing he can do for the fans. And I, I think that's awesome. You know, thank you for that. That's great. Now, thank you guys so much for sticking here to the end of the video. I really do appreciate all the support. If you agree with the list, awesome, leave a thumbs up, but let me know down below what games you're most excited to play. I definitely want to do them on a 60 second review, and thank you guys so much for sticking here to the end of the video, and I'll see you at the next one.